the man, the myth, the legend. We got Invade. There he is. If you don't know, one of the best 2K community content creators on this platform. Invade, yes, how you doing today, my man? I'm doing good, man. How you living, Cody? Good, good, good. We're, we're excited to have you on. This is uh, the second of our build series. We know you're a point guard, so we had to bring you on and figure out how you're doing so much work in the park. So uh, <laughs> you want to jump in and just run through your point guard build right here? Yeah, no problem, man. I got you, bro. So as Cody did say, I am a point guard, a legend on the park, man. Uh, <laughs> so obviously, obviously, we got to start with the point guard. The, the reason that I even chose my build and did what I decided to do is I wanted somebody that was similar to kind of like a Steph and a Clay Thompson type build. Mm -hmm. I've always loved diamond people, but I also love the way that Clay and Steph run off screens and do all that type of stuff. I'm a big IQ basketball player. So when, when I saw that we have the ability to even create something like that this year i was like oh that's it that's what we're going with awesome. so obviously i did point guard um at first which was dope yeah uh, and then hand right handed because i'm ambidextrous but i love shooting with the right hand so we went that way uh, right. jersey number it doesn't really matter but my favorite number was 22 so i went with that as well perfect I don't know if you guys like that but hey <laughs> it's I love whatever it. why 22 <laughs> any reason behind 22 Honestly, Rudy Gay, uh, when I was, uh, this is a funny story because I don't play this game anymore, but NBA Live is one of the first games I got started on as well. Yep. And uh, Rudy Gay was one of the best uh, uh, characters to use or players to use back when he was playing on Memphis. So I loved that number. He had 22 on there and it kind of just stuck with me. So gotcha. 22 has been the number, man. Well, see, I'm I'm 11 most of the time. So I'll just cut you in half. We we go the double ones, <laughs> you go the double twos. I love it. I love it. Hey, that sounds good, man. Sounds good. Awesome. All right, let's move on here. Let's look at our skill breakdowns. Where do you want to go with this one? All right, so let's start with finishing first. All right, so off of finishing, man. Oh, actually, let's go skill breakdown, right? Um, shooting. Obviously, you're doing Stephen Curry and yep. Clay Thompson, so you want to be a really dominant shooter. So you want to go with the whichever one has the most shooting, okay. which I think is the one that's actually at right there. When I get started, you off at a 95. Now, Perfect. keep in mind, uh, once you hit 95 and then you go through 99, you get an attribute increase for every time that you hit those. So at max, you're going to hit 99, 99, 99 at mid range, three point free throw. And uh, post phase should be, I think, 98 or something like that. Perfect. So you have the ability to just shoot deep, 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 deep threes and at a consistent level, which is what Clay Thompson and Steph Curry do. So we've accomplished that there. Love it. So good to go. Now on finishing, this was the this was one of the tougher things as far as that. Let's go physical profile first. Oh, sorry. Yep. Let's go. Okay, we good to move on to here. That. Yeah, right, right, right. Let's Physical profile first. So let's go there. Um, now, I wanted to be as fast as possible because, like I told you guys earlier, I wanted to go off of screens and stuff. Yep. So I looked for whichever had the most speed there, and I think it might be let's maybe see. at the top or maybe it's at the bottom. No, it's at the very top one. I think it's the first one. This one right here, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I chose that one because that was the fastest one that we had. So I went with that because um, that gave me an 83 speed, which is decent. It's not the greatest, but, hey, it'll get you moving. Awesome. Now, when we went to finishing and things like that, I was already thinking, okay, since I'm playing Steph and Clay, you're not going to see me do a bunch of layups or even dunks, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I didn't mess with close shot because you don't see them go inside. I left that at pretty much where it was at. I took driving layup, and this is one of the things that you have to pay attention very close to, and you guys will see this as we go further through it. But I took driving layup actually to like, I think it was like a 72 or something like that. Okay. Well, so, uh, now... Uh -huh. Are we looking at the badges here? Is that what we're talking about too? Uh, yeah, look, yeah, looking at badges and everything. So you can make sure that you get the very most amount of badges in every attribute and every uh, playmaking and shooting and defensive and everything. Because little little changes from like one attribute to another is a difference between getting a, a, another badge and not getting another badge. So you got to sure. pay attention between uh, those things to make sure that you get everything as perfect as you could possibly get it. Cool. So. With driving dunk, I didn't do anything because you're not gonna catch me in there. Plus, since I chose six four, where are we? I'm not dunking on anybody. So driving dunk, I left that alone. Standing dunk, I left that alone. And post hook, you gotta be crazy if you're putting that up. So, <laughs> so I left that where it was at. So let's go straight to mid range shot. I let okay. that go all the way up. Okay. Uh huh. Three point shot all the way up. Love it. Look at those badges. Free, we're getting up there now. You know, we're getting up there, man. <laughs> Free throw all the way up, man. Okay. And I even took post fade all the way up, which should put you directly at 30, Ooh. yeah, 30 badge. And actually, you can take post fade down. Take that down a little bit. Keep going a little bit more, a little bit more. Go keep going. Now go up a little bit right there. Perfect. That gives you more attributes or to put it on other things, and you still get your 30 badges. You're Love not going to typically be doing post fade, so you guys can see why. 
at work. That's a good tip right there. Don't, you, you better remember. Look at look at him. I'm pointing at the to camera too. He knows. He knows. <laughs> trying to help you guys out out here. So let's go to playmaking real quick. Pass accuracy, that was all the way up, obviously, because you want to be a facilitator. You want to make sure those passes are getting and diamond people the right way. Ball handle, obviously, because you don't want to be getting pickpocketed out here. Yep. And then post moves, you can take that all the way up as well. Perfect. And I actually think you might be able to go down. But before we mess with that, let's go straight to defense. So interior defense, I actually did not mess with that because if you're playing program or you're playing park, you typically have a big man down there. Mm -hmm. So if a guy goes down there, you definitely don't want to be focused on having interior defense. So I left that alone. The entire time because you got a big man you want him down there to take care if he does a blow by you or do anything along the lines of that so i didn't mess with interior defense at all okay. perimeter defense i took that all the way up because that's where you are needed you don't want nobody shooting open threes or getting past you or doing anything like that mm -hmm. lateral quickness obviously goes hand in hand with perimeter defense so you want to take that all the way up mm -hmm. still i took that all the way up as well let's run it right block i didn't really mess with that um offensive rebound and defensive rebound I, I took up as well. So I did mess with block offensive and defensive, but it was only to get to a couple of badges. So you can actually take those up okay. a little bit, keep going. All right, defensive, keep going up as well. Block, take that up as well. Okay. All right, so let me see what I did here. Um, now I know you said something about post moves. Could we pull that down and right, still have right, 15? Yeah, you actually can take, you might be able to take those down a little bit. Let me see, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, now take it right up there. one now, go back down the block. Okay. Or offense, maybe I, yeah, you might actually like, go block. You might be able to take it up and see if it goes. One of those are gonna make it go up and I think, uh oh, okay, great. Let's all right, see. offensive rebound. Is that already all the way up? That one's all the way up. This is all the way up. So it'd be interior defense. You want me to okay, try so here? Okay, so I guess that's what I might have taken up then. Go back up to driving layup. Okay. And take that down a little bit. Keep going until you lose it. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Okay. So I actually go back up. Okay, I know what it was. I know what it was. I had it at like 65 or so. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then I took it. I went down to interior or whatever. And in, or a uh, block or whatever, and I took that up to make sure that I got the 10. Yeah, that's there what it was. There it is. Yeah, that's what it was. And then I went back up with the attributes I had left, and I had driving layup at 68. Boom. So yeah, here. 69 or whatever. Something like that. There? Yeah, exactly, 71. Perfect. I like it. I like it. Yes, sir. So that allows you to have the ability to not blow open layups, which is great. Then you obviously can shoot incredibly from outside. Pass accuracy is really good. Your ball handle is going to be decent enough to where you're not going to be getting stripped 24-7. Uh, and then obviously, if you have a lockdown on you, you have the ability, usually have another playmaker with you so you can give the ball to them. You don't absolutely have to have the ball. Post moves is not something that you're typically doing anyway, so it's not a big thing. And then it also allows you to still be able to play defense to a degree to where you're not getting blown by and not a liability. Yep. But you're not just an offensive guy. You also have the ability to play some type of defense, which allows you to be somewhat kind of like Clay Thompson. You're not as locked down as Clay Thompson, but mm -hmm. you still got some type of defense. Perfect. Awesome. We good to move on here? Yes, sir. We are. We're good to go. Let's do it. All right. We going Burley? What are you thinking? What do you, you like? Know, I always like being swole, so Burley's a good way to go, man. <laughs> Burley's a good way to go. <laughs> All right. Let's get, let's get Burley then real quick. All right, so I chose 6'4", and the reason that I chose 6'4", is because it does not affect your shooting at all. It does take your pass accuracy and ball handle down, but I already knew that I was hitting 99 this year, so that wasn't a big problem for me because your stats automatically go up. So I knew at the very beginning, or when I hit 99, that at the max I would have an 80 ball handling. At pass accuracy, I would have you know 87 and things like that. So I wasn't really worried about that. Just wanted to make sure that my guy was a little bit longer because I'm always in passing lanes and things like that. So the taller you are, Obviously, the more effective that you're going to be in passing lanes. And since it didn't touch my shooting at all either, I was perfectly okay with that. Good deal. Good deal. 6'4 it is. What about weight? Now, weight, I knew since I was a smaller guy, I was like, this does not matter. And coming into mind that I am Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, I wanted to be as fast as possible. So what I did is I actually went with the smallest weight, which I think is 155. Okay. Or maybe, one, maybe it's 175. Okay, 175. so it's 175. Right. And that took my acceleration up to 84. Put my vertical up a little bit. I wasn't really worried about the strength because I'm not getting back down anyway. And then the speed and stuff is still the same, but you're a little bit faster to get off of moving around off ball and things like that. So I was like, this works for me. Perfect. Love it. Love it. All right. What mm -hmm. about wingspan? Now, wingspan was one of the ones that I worked with as well. Now, keep in mind, um, you wanted you go four attributes. So I need to make sure that I didn't lose an attribute on shooting. So what I did was I made the wingspan as far as I can go without losing an attribute on shooting. So I went, I think actually, was that as far as I could go? Was it going down just a little bit? I think it was, I think I actually might have left it normal then. 
Yeah, so it looks yeah, like if we, go, if we go up from default at all, it will start to that, tick do. down. Okay, so then, yeah, I left it at normal then. I okay. was like, I don't want to go down because obviously a lot of people do this, so don't do this, okay? A lot of people go down because they start saying, I want to shoot. Because if you go down on your wingspan, it's going to increase your three. Normally it does. Yeah. I know at 6'3 it does. But this doesn't increase it at all. So why would you want to make yourself smaller right. at anything, especially on defense? So I left it at default because I wanted my 99.3. Left it at 80.6, and that was perfectly fine. It's long enough to, you know, still get steals and things like that. Plus, you're 6'4 versus 6'3, so you already had that natural increase of height anyway. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. All right, what about your takeover here? Now, this this is where I messed up, okay? This is where <laughs> I messed up because if y'all remember from 19, having the takeover as spot-up shooter or whatever, I guess they must have changed it, but having that, that shooter takeover, you were shooting deep threes, and as soon as you got it, it was literally game over. Yep. Now, I thought... This year was kind of similar going to be the same way. If I could go back and change my build, I would have chosen the playmaking build because as y'all know, when the game first started, the fades were going insane. Our fades have been toned down a little bit, so it's not as good as what it once was, mm -hmm. but I still would still go with shot creator because having the ability to, to dribble and then have the ability to pull up off of a fade if you need to, if it's 18, 19 or 19, 20 or whatever the case may be is something that you want to have. Versus mm -hmm. having to get open off of a just a catch and shoot type thing. You want to be able to create for yourself if you absolutely have to. So now I would choose shot creator over the spot up shooter for sure. Perfect. And that's why we're doing this right now. We're revamping it. You can you can change whatever you want. So Exactly. And then exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll somehow get this build to you. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. All right. So complete on the vital section, sharpshooting facilitator. Yes, sir. Look Perfect. at that similarity. Kyrie Irving, Steph Curry, Kimball Walker. It doesn't get better than that, man. All right, let's go okay. ahead and test this build. We'll go ahead and go up to 99 overall and see what happens here with our badges. All right, let's go into finishing. What do you think about here? What are you using? All right, so for finishing, I decided to do consistent finisher. Uh, if you guys don't know, I don't have the shot meter on because it increases your shooting. So mm -hmm. for what I did is I decided to go with consistent finisher because it's always a little bit difficult to time your layups when you can't see them. Plus, you get a lot of different animations and layups until you just practice them. You just got to get used to it. So I went with consistent finisher because that actually increases your uh, your chance if you get an early or late or things like that. So I went with consistent for that. Perfect, perfect. All right. Let's, no, let's... Man, now, now we need the big thing. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. <laughs> so shooting badges, as you know, we get 30 badges, which is an incredible amount of badges. Shout out to 2K for allowing us to do this. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so catch and shoot, Hall of Fame. As y'all already know, I'm running around like Clay Thompson and all of them. So mm -hmm. catch and shoot, Hall of Fame. Corner specialist is still a good thing for me. I wouldn't touch clutch shooter unless you're thinking like pro-am more. Mm -hmm. But if you're more of a park player, then corner specialist, definitely. I have that at Hall of Fame okay. as well. Uh, dead eye, obviously, if you want to shoot in somebody's eye, there's nothing better than shooting and then busting it right in their eye. Oh my God, it's incredible. <laughs> so I love going that dead eye for sure on the Hall of Fame. All right. Deep phase, unless you're trying to be like Kobe, which I'm not trying to be, it's not really a badge that I would really say that you need, but a lot of people like to use it. Me personally, that's not for me. Okay. Difficult shots. I have this on gold. I know a lot of you want to say, why not Hall of Fame? That's because, as you guys know, difficult shots has been nerfed. It is not as good as what it used to be. The fades are not as good. So you don't really see me uh, shooting a lot of fades anymore unless I absolutely have to. The gold is perfectly fine. Okay. Now, flexible release. I know a lot of y'all are going to say, well, flexible release is really good. Flexible release is actually not as good as what people say it is. Um, it's actually based off of for more, more so latency or not. So if your latency is bad, that might, that might help you with your early or late releases. But typically, most people are not getting early or late releases. And that's where that's, this badge signs. But Shines mm -hmm. is in early and late releases. So I'm getting slightly earlys or perfects or slightly late or perfects. So this badge is not something that I necessarily need. Awesome. So I left it off. Um, Green Machine, that is that is a plus, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is a badge that is very, very, to me, I think it's underrated. A lot of people don't like to put it at Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I like it at Hall of Fame wow. because it takes two consecutive uh, releases to get a uh, green for it to activate. A lot of people don't like it. But then again, if you're playing with people who understand and have the IQ, they're going to find a way to get you open and hit you in your best spots. And all you got to do is make sure that you green the shot, which y'all watch my videos. I already know I do. <laughs> so we're good to go. Uh, hot start. This is a badge that is I, I tried it, but I, I'm I'm really not sure why it's in the game, to be honest. I don't like the fact that um, as soon as it's literally you miss one shot, it is game over. And that's yep. the, that's all it's used for. So in that instance, it's a, it's a badge that I just wouldn't use. Um, hot zone hunter. 
everybody has been on me back and forth about this badge. <laughs> and honestly, man, when you have a 99.3, I cannot, I just can't sit here and tell you that having it on a Hall of Fame is the go-to, especially if you constantly have hot spots anyway, which I have. You're never going to see me have a cold zone. Mm -hmm. So for me, I even in the 2K last video, they I talked about this in one of my videos. He says that it increases the shooting for lower percentages or lower attributed rated shooters more mm -hmm. so than the high rated shooters. Right. And for me, if you have a 99, even in the in the chart, he shows that it's going to be a 20% increase. I just don't see 2K allowing a 99 to have a 20% increase on their shooting because that would almost make this completely broken. Yep. Um, so that standpoint, standpoint, I have it at gold and it works perfectly fine for me at gold. Now ice in my veins, you should be able to shoot free throws and stuff like that anyway with a 99 free throw. So that's a skip. Okay. Pick and popper, I have not really used it. Plus I play park more often, even though picks are rampant in this year, this is for if you set the picks. I'm not setting picks. So mm -hmm. for me, this is not something that I need. I'm typically all over the place. So not for me. Okay. Um, Pump fake maestro, I might set a pump fake, but typically if I set a pump fake, I'm dishing it off to somebody else anyways. I'm not shooting after that, so I let that go. Perfect. Quick draw, now this is all totally dependent on what base that you have on your jumper. Now I'm not gonna share with you guys my base, even though y'all want it, because that's a that's 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 a that's a highly secret thing. Okay, so I can't <laughs> I cannot share that with y'all. But what I will to give you guys an example is a, is a base like base 38. With a base 38, you can quick draw on gold and be perfectly fine. Yep. Somebody like a Lamarcus Aldridge base, you may not be able to pull that off with the uh, with the uh, with the gold. So it depends on what base you're doing. Mess around with what bases are the fastest. You can go to 2K Labs; they do a lot of things like that as well mm -hmm. to uh, help you guys out with that. But for me, with mine, I have it on Hall of Fame, and I love it. So Hall of Fame awesome. for me, range extender. Obviously, you wanted that at Hall of Fame as well because you want to shoot as deep as possible, uh, extend the defense out to make things happen. So. Slippery off ball. I don't know if that is good or not. Maybe, maybe more so in pro am because I know there's a lot of off ball screens and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really tell right now. So mm -hmm. slippery off ball. I don't know. Steady shooter. Not excited about because that is based solely off of if, if you get an open release, it, it lowers your chances of making it if it's wide open and helps you with consistent or with contested shots. Excuse me. So I don't really shoot a lot of contested shots. A lot of the stuff I shoot is wide open, so that's not a badge for me. Mm -hmm. Tyler shooter, more so, I feel like it's more so on Pro-Am because it's a longer game park. I can't really see that being the case. Mm -hmm. And then volume shooter, this is for basically more so if you don't have your badges or not badges, your attributes all the way maxed out. Because what it does, if you read it, even though it says boost shot percentages as shot attempts, if you actually go deep into it by pressing Y, you'll see that it says it actually increases your attributes versus your percentages now if it increases your percentages awesome but if this says it increases your shot attributes since i already have a 99 three there's no reason for me to use this volume shoot makes so. sense love it love it mm -hmm. perfect perfect so okay if if you had to rank the top three of importance for you on this build what okay. what's your top three badges in order okay uh top three I'm gonna go catch and shoot Hall of Fame. Okay. Uh, that's huge. Um, I'm gonna go. Woo, that's tough. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go Dead Eye, and then I think I would go Hot Zone Hunter. Okay. So even yeah, though Hot Zone are... Hunter's oh, only wait, on hold gold, on. you said top three. Hold on. Quick draw. Quick draw number one. Quick okay. draw number <laughs> one. <laughs> Quick draw number one for sure. Then I would go probably Hot Zone Hunter, and then I would probably go catch and shoot. Okay. And that's interesting because you still have Hot Zone Hunter in your top three, but it's only right. on gold too. So it, it yeah. is important. You just don't level it up as high as some might. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. And if you guys remember from our, our Wolf video, he recommended for lock builds not to use Quick Draw up past gold or Hall of Fame because he's out of the corner and he doesn't have to get a shot off as quickly and he can use those attributes in other areas. For Invade, mm -hmm. On this build, you have to have it up because you got to be able to get off screens, shoot shots very quickly over defenders. So this makes right. a whole lot of sense. I love it. I love it. Yes, sir. Cool. All right, let's move on here. That's great. Let's look at our 15 playmaking batters. What do you think here? All right, so playmaking. I went with Dimer because obviously I like to be a facilitator. So Dimer was at gold. Okay. Um, and I put that there. Now, I love helping out my teammate. Like I said, I'm a facilitator. So I went straight with uh, Floor General. Let's go there first. With Floor General, I had that at gold as well because that increases the attributes. And I believe by three. 
Um, mm -hmm. And then handles for days, I had that at gold because you don't want to get tired off of doing one move. Mm -hmm. And then I also had unpluckable at gold as well, um, which I believe should max it out at 15, if I'm correct. Oh, actually, no, I'd be one more in there. One more there is, is a quick first step. Do you have oh, any yeah, on quick that first one? Step that I had on gold as well. Yeah, I had that as gold as well. Perfect. Yes, sir. You sure did. So I feel like these, they're almost clear cut at this point, especially dimer, handles for days, quick first step, mm -hmm. unpluckable. For point guards, I think those four badges you have to have right. almost. Uh, and then, you know, some people might like floor general, others like tight handles. Space mm -hmm. Creator has been used too, but I'm 100% on board with you here. I think that's a great choice. Right. Cool. All right. Last but not least, let's look at our 10 defensive slash rebounding badges. What do you think here? All right. So obviously you want to be able to hold uh, your own when you're playing against other people. So Clamps is really good because that does cut off the dribble uh, as long as you understand where they're going. So IQ does require, you do need to have some type of IQ to understand that, but mm -hmm. Clamps I had at gold as well. So okay. that, put that there. Intimidator, I had on gold as well, because obviously you don't want for people to just be able to make shots and you just kind of, in a way, cancels out Deadeye. Not uh, like all the way, but it definitely does help, so it's not gonna happen as often. Mm -hmm. um, with the recent update, we know that Pick Dodger is now the same uh, strength as uh, Brick Wall. So Pick Dodger is 100% a go-to okay. because uh, screens are crazy right now. So make sure that you have Pick Dodger if you can go on gold. Um, mm -hmm. And then I was thinking the last one that I would do for me would be intercept to just have on bronze. But off ball pest would be something that's really good as well. So I'm, like I said, I'm in the passing lanes for me. So anything anything to help me get more steals in the passing lanes, I'm always going to go with. Awesome. You already answered my question. I was waiting for the pick dodger and I was going to say now invade. How important is this with the new patch? You hit the nail on the head. Mm -hmm. I think in the park you have to have this on. Exactly. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Cool. Exactly. All right. We feel good about these? I feel good, man. I feel good. I love it. Perfect. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit Y. Now, I pressed Y to choose your jump shot, and I know okay. you said you weren't going to talk about your base, <laughs> but I'm going to put you on the spot here. What, what are some of the bases that you might like? I know you mentioned 38. Are there any others? You know, you can name a few. I would name a few. Okay, so Trey Burke is something that was I tried earlier on, and that was a shot that was very good. Okay. Um, the shot that everybody's, and I actually will share this with you guys because this is something different. But in the, one of my beginning videos, if you guys have seen the shooting badge video, everybody's asked me what shot was I using. Yep. Now, I swore up and down I would not release that until <laughs> like 50,000 times. That's how important it was to me. But I actually changed my uh, jump shot this year. And so for the fun of it, because, you know, Pacers Gaming has been so nice to uh, help me out and things like that. That shot that I was using in the shooting badge video was actually Rudy Gay, nothing else, just Ooh. Rudy Gay. Okay. Um, and that, I believe, is one of the best jumpers that is underrated that a lot of people do not know about. Um, and so that, if you had to choose anything without having the jump shot creator badge, I promise you Trey Burke or Rudy Gay will get you set and, and greening everything that you need to do as long as you put in time to learn the shot for sure see that that 22 came back now he didn't want to say why he chose it <laughs> it's, it's all coming full circle now i see it i see it i love it that's badges that's the build let's talk about how you actually operate in the park or in pro-am in rec with this build what do you like to do you know what are maybe some advantages or disadvantages for the viewers at home when making this build okay so when I make a build, first off, there's no disadvantages. Let's just get that out the way, okay? Because when I make a build, it, it's fire. I promise you, I'm gonna, set, I'm gonna set you guys up to be successful in the game. Uh, one of the things that I've learned this year in this game is that uh, illegal screens are very, very rampant this year. And as I was telling Cody earlier, I don't necessarily know if it's because of people just not waiting for the screens to hit or if it's just something that 2K needs to kind of tweak and all that type of stuff. So what I've noticed is the one thing that I hate is not getting a shot off when we have the ball because that could be the difference between winning a game or losing a game and the last thing you want to do is give somebody else a chance to get more shots than you just because of you know dumb mistakes and things like that yep so what i like to do is do a lot of off ball things so what i'll do is i'll i'll have my center kind of run in the middle of the uh of the top of the key or whatever i'll have him sit there be a big body and i will throw him the ball at that point what i'm doing is i'm doing a lot of off ball movement i'll have my my other guy uh, that I'm running with doing a lot of off-ball movement as well because the game in general is a lot different than what it was last year. And what mm -hmm. you'll see from a lot of the videos that I do is just wide open shots that I'm getting nonstop just off of being able to move back and forth. I don't know if you guys know this, but this year they added in 
animations that allow you to do little things that can go, you know, burst out of this and burst mm -hmm. out of that to be able to get open. And so because of that and being able to shoot consistently when you get open, of course, you have to be able to knock the shot down. But I'm shooting wide open shots consistently and mm -hmm. having that IQ with my team as well and having those people who understand the game. They're setting you up for the open positions and open shots and all that type of stuff. So that would be one of the things that I would say is definitely the best about my build is that, as we talked about earlier, being able to move off of that and then make sure you knock down the shot with the Hall of Fame quick draw and things like that. Yep. Something that sets you up different from other people versus being, you know, last year's game where people are just dribbling out of control and doing things like that to get open. This year is different. It's a lot more IQ involved. I think that's what I enjoy most about this game, to be honest with you. Awesome. Awesome. Great points. Mm -hmm. Love the build. Uh, we've had a lot of people asking for a point guard build, and the first person we thought of was you <laughs> from, from checking out your videos. And thank you, man. I appreciate it. Just, just want to say thank you for coming on here and uh, sharing your knowledge. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to make sure all of you guys at home, go check out Invade. Invade, where can they find you on all socials and your YouTube? You guys can find me at Twitter and Instagram at Invade. That's NVAD3. Uh, YouTube is Invade as well, NVAD3. And obviously, if you guys ever want to catch some live stream content, you can find me at Mixer.com slash Invade as well. I look forward to seeing you guys. Awesome. Well, thanks again, man. We appreciate you so much. Keep growing your channel. He is yes, the sir. place to be for some awesome 2K content. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a great day from Invade, Cody, and all of Pacers Gaming. We'll see you next time. <laughs> love it. Thanks, man. Awesome. This was a blast. Dude. This was a blast.